um, not only have I not felt that, um, you know, gender was not never uh, an area of concern. I didn't even think age was an area. I think, um, you know, I think there's a clear part for uh, everybody to play and pull their weight. And, you know, you essentially you just bring something interesting and there's always a uh, space for everybody to listen in. And, uh, and, and that's been my my most true experience out of this this opportunity and um, ma'am called us and called me into the room and said okay you know why don't you think about going on a secondment so uh, you know I was like okay and a lot of people actually advised me at that time that uh, you know you're doing so well right now don't take a break you know you'll be set back and this and that and I think early in life um, Karan Bhava gave me this advice and if he's on thank you for it uh, he actually said, don't play a five-year game. He said, you play a 40-year game. You see where you want to be at like 50, you know, and, and sort of make every decision today based on that. And, you know, and that was the best advice. I think I, I go back to it every single point of time, um, even now. And uh, and so I said, no, I, I will go for a, for a secondment. And I ended up going to New York. Every Wednesday, the women partners used to take all the women associates out for lunch. And, you know, I would be, I, I went for that. I used to go for those lunches and they would go around the table and say oh how many of you have felt like you walked into the room and people thought you were the secretary or didn't allow you to speak or you know you weren't uh, considered x or y or z and it was so interesting because everybody around that table had that experience except me I was the only one who said oh no I never had that experience nobody thought I was lesser than uh, you know the any other male colleague on the table and and then it made me realize that the place that I worked at had given me such a sense of like, you know, freedom and abundance that uh, it was actually something to really treasure and cherish. It wasn't something that I could just take for granted because sitting around that room, talking to all my international colleagues who were working in the best law firm of uh, the United States was, uh, you know, we're all talking about be feeling second rate, feeling uh, a sense of not being good enough, under, of facing a glass ceiling. And I really didn't have any of that. And that's really something that made me really think and come back and feel like, you know, I was really grateful for that.